Good morning, everybody. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins, and uh, I'm checking in with you and during this very special week of daddy-daughter discussions. My daughter Patrice, believe it or not, is still asleep, and I don't know where she's at because it's uh, getting kind of late, or at least in Chicago, it's pretty late. It'll be afternoon, so she must be as tired as I am. But uh, anyway, we um, got here, and um, the funny thing about and this is one of the reasons why I don't I just don't like traveling if I don't have to is that it takes so freaking long to get anywhere you know um, in LA uh, especially the traffic is so horrible it took us four hours four hours to get from our plane to our hotel and, uh, and that was just tragic just irritating and um, anyway but people have bigger problems in the world so I'm not gonna sit here and complain about how long it took me to get here um, I'm staying at this place that actually doesn't cost much more than a regular hotel. Um, I forgot what it's called though, but it's, you can see it looks actually pretty nice. It's like a, um, you see we're in downtown LA, so you can see kind of the skyline from here and all the buildings and all that. So, um, uh, I'm probably going to walk around just a little bit, but I won't have much time to do that because, uh, Damon and I, uh, da Damon Dash, he, um, called me literally as soon as I got off the plane and wanted to... Uh, know about going down to the YouTube studios because apparently and this is something for you to know if you if you're building a YouTube channel YouTube actually has a studio that you can use if you get your channel up to over 10,000 subscribers um, and, uh, and and a lot of people I don't think it's really that hard to do if you put your mind to it and you're consistent and dedicated with it um, <clears throat> just you know if you create your channel make sure you ask people to subscribe so that they get a chance to kind of make that conscious decision. Um, our channel, <clears throat> our channel just hit a hundred thousand. I want to say thank you to those who support the channel. Um, I really, really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. And uh, you know, and so as you can see, I'm, I'm actually a little tired today. Um, you know, I, I think that the fatigue comes from uh, the fact that number one, traveling. Just you know, I, 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 I used to travel a lot, and I still do. And actually, over the next year or so, I'm going to do a little bit more traveling. But sometimes. Um, you know, things get mentally draining a little bit. You know, like a lot of times I, if I, you know, this is one of the few times where I'm actually talking about a trip I'm taking. I think I'm talking about it because this is uh, uh, our daddy-daughter trip. And uh, my daughter, Patrice, and I, we've been to a few places together. And it's, um, and, and, and to me, the daddy-daughter thing that we do is, is really important to me. Um, not just personally, but also uh, for all the fathers that are trying to connect with their kids. And all the daughters that want to connect with their fathers, and and uh, you know, because I actually I'll tell you in my heart, you know, when I hear about um, you know young kids that don't have a father, I, I want to be their father. I wish I could be, you know. And sometimes I'll have young people that'll say say that I'm like a father figure to them online, and I and I really embrace that. I actually am honored by that, um, you know, because I just you know I have a heart for that. You know, my my biological father wasn't there, but I had a man that stepped in and took over in that role, and. Um, and I don't know what I where I'd be if he hadn't stepped in, you know. And so I don't. I admit that sometimes I don't understand it when people don't care about <clears throat> other people's kids. They just say, "Oh, well, those are somebody else's kids. Them little niggas. If they if they wanted to have parents, they should have had some parents. You know, their parents should their parents should be doing it." And 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 I feel bad because some kids don't have parents. Some kids don't have parents that are responsible. Some kids got parents that are making you know fifteen, sixteen kids, and can't even pay the child support. You know. And so uh, some people have parents that are in prison, you know, and so to me, I feel like when a child like that comes into your space, um, you don't really have a choice but to help that child. I mean, you might think it's optional, but really that's a mandate from God for you to step into the life of that child on some level. You don't have to let the child move in with you or anything, but maybe some encouraging words, you know, buy them a little meals, you know, give them a couple of dollars, you know, say some things that'll help boost their self-esteem, uh, mentor them a little bit, let like maybe let them call, check on them once a month. Uh, you know, you don't have to do much. It doesn't take much. And um, I think that's really important for the black community because, you know, I talk a lot about things like wealth building, but people don't understand that wealth building is deeply connected to family building. So if you don't build strong families, you're not, it's going to be very difficult to build uh, strong wealth in a community. So, um, and I, when I talk about family, I'm talking about family in the general sense. Family to me is not just uh, the sort of the structured husband, wife, child, child. It's more like having a group of people that just have your back, you know, people that care about you, they care about you more than just 
you know how much money you can bring to them and that's something I'm, I'm real sticky about you know I when when I when I as I get more money or if I, as I've had more money I've had people come into my life where I felt like the only reason they were around me was because they could get something from me and when I peep that out it really upsets me you know at, at the core because um, I just don't think that that's the way to live um, and, uh, and it's, it's hurtful when I see that you know it really does hurt my feelings a little bit but uh, anyway I'm not here to be all sobby and emotional I'm just being deeply reflective and honest about this trip and kind of what it means and um and so the, the other funny thing is like every time i travel the reason i don't announce it much when i go places is because when i travel i'll get i'll get a lot of friendly emails from people that are like hey you're in town let's get together hey oh i hear you coming to houston let's get together i hear you coming to st louis hey let's meet up and the problem is um my schedule is usually so full i can't do anything I can't, I can't answer the phone, I can't, you know, I can't go meet people, just be meeting random people for dinner. Um, in fact, this week, uh, Dame and I, we're doing a lot of shooting. We're actually trying to, believe it or not, you probably don't think we're crazy for this, but we're actually trying to get his cousin, Stacy Dash, to come into the studio and finish the conversation. And uh, and I know people think, people have mixed feelings about that. Some people think it's a great idea, some people think it's horrible. But um, I'd like to hear what Stacy has to say, and I and, and 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 I'm 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 one of the few people who's seen Stacy and Damon kind of argue, and I, and I think it would be just really interesting to watch. <laughs> I just you know, but then again, that's just the weird old side of me. So anyway, um, so I'll be shooting with Damon, also Tierra Williams from the Real Network. Um, I'm meeting up with her, and we're shooting stuff, all kinds of stuff, and and um, and I, I think it's just fun. It's just fun to, you know, shoot films and. Do all kinds of stuff, you know, so that's why I encourage you guys to uh, get your own business, you know, and, and get get free, get off the plantation, you know, that white man don't love you, you know, you can find another way to pay your bills, seriously, I know it's not easy, it's, it's, it's tough, especially young people though, you, you, you have your whole life in front of you, you can create whatever reality you want, and I just encourage you not to be afraid to kind of go for it, just plan ahead and be ready for the hard work, because one thing I'm also learning is that, um, is that the, the battle never really stops, you know, you're always... You're always fighting. You're always, um, you know, every day I feel like I'm struggling, Every, you know, in the sense that every day I feel like I'm getting more work than I can do, more people that I need to call back that I can't, that I'll never call back, uh, more emails than I could ever handle, um, more, you know, financial complications, you know, um, just, I mean, you'd be amazed at how much money we have to pay for the people that we keep on our team, stuff like that. And the, the hard part is when people don't even want to do their job, but they want the, they always want they always want their paycheck, but they don't always want to do the job, you know. And um, you know, so so really having reliable people that have your back, that's kind of a hard thing to have. And then also, I would honestly say, um, you know, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, you know, I, I know what people mean when they say that it gets kind of lonely in certain spaces because you don't know exactly who to trust. You know, you're like you're like dealing with all these people. And you're like, hmm, okay, this person really loves being around me, but how would they feel if I was broke? Or how would they feel if, if I was just some guy off the street? You know, and so it comes with the territory. I'm not complaining about it, but um, it's definitely something that, you know, that, that, that happens, that, that leads to deep reflection. And so um, anyway, but I'm, I'm you know, the, the trip to L.A. is cool. And, uh, and I told you guys I would keep checking in with you. And as you can see, you can probably see on my face that I'm a little exhausted. This is like me being, this is my mentally drained face. But I'm, <clears throat> but I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna get pumped up and ready. I'm gonna meet Damon about two hours after I do, I gotta do a consultation uh, or something on the phone. And, um, and then I'm going to go and uh, do some other stuff with my daughter. So uh, I just wanna say hi to you guys and uh, I'll talk to you later. And uh, by the way, if you haven't signed up for the blackbusinessschool.com, you can do that for free. Go sign up right now. Go sign up right now because we want more and more black people to join. Uh, also, our film Resurrecting Black Wall Street, The Blueprint, is coming out very soon. Um, and uh, that's another another set of math problems that we have to solve every day, but the film is almost ready. I watched, I watched the um, final cut recently. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I know you're going to like it. You're really going to like this film. You're going to gain a lot from it. And I hope you'll check it out. Uh, you can find out more at resurrectingblackwallstreet.com. You can actually pre-order it on that page. So um, I hope you guys will go take a look. And just know I appreciate you. Even if I'm sitting here looking like I'm about to just fall out. It's really just me. It's the weight of the world, man. But I'm, but I'm very happy. Very happy. You think, you know, I tell you, in this world, uh, every time I get tired as a black man, every time I get worn out or stuff just tears me down, I start thinking about... Uh, what our ancestors went through, you know, in slavery. I started thinking about, 
and I and I, and I think about how their their lives are so much um, weightier than ours. I think about the brothers that are out here really struggling, that are just fighting against the system, locked away in prisons, you know, super depressed because um, they're never going to get a chance, and it's unfair because many of them don't deserve, um, you know, they they don't they, they don't deserve that kind of treatment, um, you know, and so that kind of reminds me that it, as weary as we might get, we got a job to do, you know, we got to just keep it moving. So whatever it is, you got a job to do, keep it moving. And I'll be there for your people. That's what that's what's gonna make us great. So anyway, um, I'm about to get out of here. Don't forget the blackbusinessschool.com, resurrectingblackwallstreet.com. Write it down. Write it down. I can use your support. So take care, guys. Talk to you soon. Love you. Bye bye.